Hello! Today I am doing a review on Alienated by Melissa Landers. Alienated it was a really, really good book. I really enjoyed it. I'm giving it a four and a half out of five stars. Um, it's about a teenage girl who uh, is like an overachiever, top of her game, all Victorian, you know, everything's going her way, perfect kind of life, boyfriend, friends, loving family, the whole shebang, and she's accepted to host a foreign exchange student for her senior year. And the thing is, the foreign exchange student is not from Earth, he's an alien. And in exchange for this host, she gets a full ride scholarship to, uh, to college, and she has to spend a year on his planet. But of course, because humans are always afraid of what they don't know and what they don't understand, they don't trust him, they don't trust his people, and they are skeptical of what their real motivations might be for why they want an alliance with humans. And so paranoia kicks in and protests that um, that the aliens should be sent back to their planet and, you know, that, they, that humans don't want them here on Earth. And her job as the host is to try and get people to have faith in his, his race, his alien race, and get them to trust his race. But, of course, that doesn't go swimmingly as you would hope or think it would. And that's pretty much all I'm going to say about this book. Um, if you haven't read it, I really suggest you go check it out. It was a fun read. It was very entertaining. It was lighthearted, but it had enough of uh, some drama in it and, of course, romance and scandal and, uh, yeah, just some good high school drama. It was it was enjoyable. I really liked it. Um, I had fun reading it, and I'm really excited to continue with this series. Okay, so on to the discussion for the book. Um, I, yeah, I really had a lot of fun reading this book. Um, I was reading it mostly while I was at work. Um, and, um, yeah, it was just a quick book to read. It, uh, it was, you know, easy, easy to read book, basically. And, um, it was nice. I really liked, um, that it was, um, it didn't feel, like, over the top, um, about the drama. The drama felt very realistic to what probably would happen to someone who hosted a foreign exchange student from another planet. Another thing that I really liked was the culture, the alien culture that was introduced in this book. Um, it's probably the anthropology major in me, but I really found it interesting to learn about his culture and, like, how they have, um evolve themselves over, you know, thousands of years, and how they're, they believe they're so civilized and so, um, so far evolved from humans, and when in reality they were losing things, like, um, emotions and personality and vibrancy in their, in themselves, that, um, they were kind of accidentally weaning out, that they realized they didn't need to function and to, um, live fulfilling lives. I really like the way that, um, uh, the layers, I guess how you say it, um, could use, like, telepathy, and how they, like, stare at each other. <laughs> I was thinking, of, I'm like, if this ever turned into a movie, it'd be so awkward. I really thought that Kara's parents were really sweet, um, and I really liked their relationship. I thought they were really funny, and how, uh, in most ways, they were more of, you know, the teenager than Kara was, especially in the beginning. Um, and, you know, how they, like, couldn't keep their hands off each other was, I just thought it was so funny and so sweet at the same time. And, um, yeah, and I liked, I liked that her family, uh, her, her parents, they didn't take a back seat, um, in this story. They really had a, um, upfront, uh, active role in the story, which is kind of rare in, um, YA books. They didn't feel like just this, like, you know, oh yeah, she does have parents, so, you know, like, you know, they were just in the background, kind of forgotten about. They were actually active in the story. Okay, so one thing that I really enjoyed, um, reading was how, uh, Alex, how Alex, um, could tell that she liked him, that she loved him, whatever, and she was in attracted to him, and how he, like, measured her heartbeats, and I thought that was really interesting, and so their ongoing joke about, you know, being each other's, like, heart rate score was really cute, and, um, you know, I, I hope they kind of carry that on to next books. I love, oh, I loved that he called her a Lear, I guess I say it, um, a beautiful warrior, and because that that was that just kind of gave it gave uh, 
you know, their relationship, a little more intimacy, that he gave her a name that was from his planet, his world. You know, even when he wasn't calling her Lear, the fact that he pronounced her name Kara and had, had kind of already, from the beginning, turned her name into a name that was more his, his, you know, planet, his, his species. Um, kind of made it interesting and yeah and it was just heart-wrenching at the end when um, she met Alex's sister uh, L, and she had been betrothed to Aaron and I I was just like emotions I just couldn't believe they killed Aaron though I mean they, that, that that oh that came out of nowhere I was so mad I was kind of expecting Serene to get killed if anybody got killed but because I didn't like her from the beginning, like, she just, ugh, she was just an angry, angry chick, and I knew nothing good would come of Serene, but, no, of course a nice person has to die, of course, of course, it's always, like, the chubby kid, or the nice guy, or, you know, the minority that dies in the movies, and, and of course, the nice guy is the one that dies in this, um, I was, I was really upset about that, yeah, ugh, I couldn't believe that, ugh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Um, I thought that the um, the contrast between their worlds was really interesting. The fact that um, his planet is very like void of color and um, everything's very neutral and and you know it did make me notice how vibrant Earth would be to someone like that, who someone someone who wasn't used to such a variety and a vibrancy of colors. It was funny watching his um, transition into trying to get used to her world, to Earth, um, and I found their uh, food experiences very funny, um, very fun to read, um, especially. I probably had the most fun reading those parts when she was trying to cook for him and when uh, and trying to recreate dishes from his planet and um, trying to find foods that he would like and um, and how he just couldn't handle it. He couldn't handle the flavor and couldn't handle the, the smell, the stench as he put it, of um, you know everything they were cooking, bacon. And okay, just a little public service announcement. To any guys that might be watching this, you just, you just take note of this. He left his room and marched into the kitchen where he prepared the richest, most indulgent, and disgusting dish imaginable. A bowl of fudge ripple ice cream topped with chocolate syrup, semi-sweet chocolate morsels, chocolate sprinkles, and for good measure, a chocolate brownie from the pantry. He even garnished it with a handful of M&Ms. This had to help. Okay, your, 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 your girl not happy? Your girl not, not, not happy? Not feeling good? Not, not having a good day? That is what you make her. That is what you make her. Public service announcement, you make her that exactly. It'll cure, it's a cure-all for us females, okay? Chocolate on top of top, chocolate on top of chocolate. And if you think there's not enough chocolate, just go ahead and add an extra layer and then you're good. That, that right there, that bowl of ice cream sounded amazing. I, will, I was swooning for the ice cream. I'm kind of disappointed in the ending a little bit because, I don't know, I was kind of expecting more of a cliffhanger and a little more of like a, ah, oh, how could she leave us off like that? And I was just like, oh, that's sweet. Okay. I felt happy. But I didn't, I don't have this like burning need for the next book. Like I need it now kind of feeling, which I'm not used to. Usually I need that. I have that feeling and, and I, I need the next book. But, um, yeah, it, it didn't leave me with that, and so I was kind of disappointed about that a little bit, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. They didn't kill anybody off. They didn't, like, you know, do horrible things to one of the main characters where you're like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen to them? It just kind of ended off, and you're like, okay, okay, I can wait the year or however long it's gonna be until the next book comes out. I can wait. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... If you would like to share with me your favorite part of this book or something that really piqued your interest or you'd like to hear more about it, please send me a comment in the comments below and subscribe. See you later. Bye.